Hello, beautiful person. So happy to talk with you again. And today, I'm going to talk about number, what is it, number six, I think, from my list of eight tips for boosting your immunity. And um, by the way, if you want that list of eight tips, just drop me a message and I'll send them to you. Anyway, I had done all the, let me see, you don't smoke, exercise regularly, maintain a healthy weight, uh, drink in moderation, get adequate sleep. And then today I'm going to talk about hand washing. As you know, hand washing, hand washing, like there's been tons of of memes out there, which is like every the whole list of things, and every one of them would be wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. So what's the deal with washing your hands? Um, I so I went and did some research. I, the CDC, actually the Centers for Disease Control in the United States, has some really cool information on their website, and I wanted to give you some reasons why you should always wash your hands, even if we're not in the middle of a pandemic, and. Um, so I'm just going to pull it up. And it talks about the germs that we get on our hands. It says that feces or poop from people or animals is an important source of germs like salmonella, E. coli, and norovirus that can cause disease. It also spreads respiratory infections. This was written before COVID-19 even. And they can get onto people's hands, obviously, once after you've used the toilet or changed the diaper. But also, like after handling raw meat, you need to wash your hands. And um, it says a single gram of human feces can contain one trillion germs. That is nasty. Now I'm going to do some other stuff. Now there's this whole business about now we all know not to touch our eyes, nose, and mouth. Have you noticed that if you, um, as soon as you think about how you shouldn't touch your face, your nose starts itching like crazy? Good thing we have, you know, sleeves. I'm, not wiping my nose on it. It's just, even just thinking about it made, it itch, made me itchy. I'm sure you are the same. So try not to use your hands to touch your nose because that is how it gets into your body. And um, talks about germs from unwashed hands can get into food and drinks, can be transferred to other objects like handrails, tabletops, or toys, and then transferred to another person's hands. And actually, just to go back to the current situation, apparently it can live for hours on a surface. So wipe it all down, wash your hands. And um, it says that if you teach people about hand washing, it reduces the number of people who get sick with diarrhea by 23 to 40%, that's a big number, reduces diarrheal in illness in people with weakened immune systems by 58%. That is huge. And we are especially concerned right now about people with weakened immune systems. You know, most of us will get a little sick, we'll get better, we'll be fine. But the people with weakened immune systems, they're the ones who are going to die if they get infected. Not necessarily, but they have a much higher risk of dying. And so here they're just talking about diarrheal illness because they're not, um, as like I said, this this uh, was put on the CDC website before uh, COVID-19 became a thing. But it says it reduces illness in people with weakened immune systems by 58%. So wash those freaking hands. And then it says reduces respiratory illness like colds in the general population by 16 to 21%. And then it goes on to talk about... Um, hand washing and it says also that hand washing helps battle the rise in antibiotic resistance we're not even thinking about antibiotics right now because they don't work on viruses anyway but um, it says it prevents about 30 percent of diarrhea related sicknesses about 20 percent of respiratory infections and it says eg colds again this was before uh, COVID-19 hey Candace hello thanks for joining and um, so yeah most of you probably don't need to be told again to wash your hands, but we have to keep getting into the habit of washing hands. So just to get back to the tips about um, minimize, about boosting immunity. So we had don't smoke, we had exercise regularly, we had maintain a healthy weight, drink in moderation, get adequate sleep, which is not easy in these times of high anxiety, and wash your hands. So, 
send it to you, working our way through it. You can see the videos uh, either here on my, either on my timeline. You could be seeing this video in a bunch of different places. You could see it on my timeline. You could see it on uh, um, Instagram, YouTube, or LinkedIn, or Twitter. So wherever you came from, thank you for watching. Drop me a message if you would like to connect in any way or to get that list of uh, tips for boosting your immunity. Have a great night. Remember, I love you. Talk to you again soon. Bye.